best games for kids on the PS5 are mostly set in stone by this point, although some months tend to produce at least a few options. Still, very few projects can beat games such as the ones on today's list, so let's look at the 10 best games for kids on the PlayStation 5. First off, we have Astro's Playroom. Except for a few Nintendo masterpieces, Astro's Playroom might just be the best pack-in game of all time. If nothing else, it is at least Sony's greatest effort. Due to arriving pre-installed on the PlayStation 5, this short but adorable 3D platformer will introduce most people to this generation's console, and it offers fun for all ages. Astro's Playroom does a surprisingly good job of striking a balance between accessibility and difficulty, with the latter being just steep enough to require the player's full attention. After that, we have Sackboy A Big Adventure. After completing Astro's Playroom, Sackboy A Big Adventure is the next follow-up game. Not only is it a PS Plus Extra game, which is always a bonus, but it is also similar in tone, gameplay, and challenge level. Now, unlike Astro's Playroom, Sackboy is a 2.5D platformer with linear levels that allow for some room for exploration to find collectibles. While most stages should not take longer than 10 minutes, the campaign is fairly substantial, offering five main worlds along with a plethora of optional content, including co-op stages and a harder post-game realm. Following that, we have Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania. The 2010s were not kind to Super Monkey Ball, but Banana Mania at least got the current decade off to a good start. Essentially a platformer, Monkey Ball is about carefully navigating a sphere through winding levels towards an endpoint. As straightforward as that sounds, Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania can be quite challenging and comes packed with hundreds of stages. After that, we have the Lil Gator game. The Lil Gator game is the type of adventure that a child would come up with, and that is meant to be taken in the most positive way possible. Possible. As the eponymous gator, players will go on a self-driven adventure to create an adventure worthy of impressing their older sibling, with the main goal being to create opportunity for family bonding. While obviously great for younger players looking for a lighthearted and cute adventure, older folks might also appreciate little gator games' innocence and whimsy. Then we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge. Shredder's Revenge is a great video game. The short campaign gradually increases its difficulty until it becomes genuinely challenging, although it is not as overall tough as Streets of Rage 4 or 3D brawlers like Sifu. More importantly, the game's dynamic visuals and quirky characters are likely to keep the attention of kids, especially if they have been exposed to the TMNT cartoons. Shredder's Revenge also supports co-op, so older siblings or parents can join in and lend a helping hand. Next up, we have Fall Guys. Fall Guys is a party game battle royale revolving around mini games with a cartoony aesthetic and an overabundance of silliness. This title does not take itself too seriously and is very accessible. Perfect for short sessions when the only goal is to have a good time and maybe a few laughs, Fall Guys can be thrown on whenever someone is not sure what they feel like playing, and that goes for both children and adults. Then we have Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. A recommendation for older kids, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart is one of the best games on the PlayStation 5. With visuals ripped right out of a Pixar movie and irresistibly endearing characters, Rift Apart is a treat for the senses that also happens to play like a dream. Mechanically, there is a lot more going on here than most other kids' games, but Rift Apart's controls are rather intuitive. The rookie recruit difficulty setting makes the game very easy, and Rift Apart also has a range of other accessibility options. Then we have Overcooked All You Can Eat. Overcooked All You Can Eat packs in the two PlayStation 5 games, creating one of the most complete party co-op compilations on the market. Players must work together to prepare their plate of dishes so that they can complete orders. This game is fun, chaotic, and perfect for groups of four. When played normally, Overcooked can become fairly frustrating since the stages gradually ramp up the requirements, eventually demanding a near flawless kitchen. As such, kids might start to feel a little overwhelmed by this title. Then we have Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 Turbocharged. Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 Turbocharged is a gorgeous racer that builds beautifully on its 2021 predecessor. As suggested by the title, this is a licensed game, one that is overflowing with love and appreciation for the source material. Not only are the visuals of the game the best in the genre, but Turbocharged also controls like a dream, comparing favorably to any other arcade racer on the market. And finally, we have LEGO Fortnite. As with most survival games, LEGO Fortnite challenges players to meet their basic needs and also craft a base, the latter of which takes center stage as the closest thing to progress the game has is bringing its NPCs to create a village. Exploration can lead to a few neat fights, although there is not too much to find at the moment. LEGO Fortnite is charming and a decent recommendation for survival fans, craving something on the relaxing side, however it is particularly perfect for anyone taking their first steps into the genre. So those were our picks for the best games on PlayStation 5 for kids, and thanks for watching.